Hello, my name is Caitlin Bruno and I'm a PhD candidate in Dr. Fairweather's laboratory. One thing that is the biggest component of our lab is translational research. We want to find better diagnostic techniques and biomarkers for myocarditis to help doctors diagnose patients in the future. One thing that makes it a lot easier to do these kind of developments is amazing equipment. This is a Kaya cube. It is used to automatically extract RNA, DNA, or proteins. This process normally would take days or weeks depending on your number of samples, whereas this machine can do 12 samples in an hour. This allows us to do experiments much faster to get breakthroughs, but also increases our accuracy and our yields. This is our next piece of equipment that allows us to get advances in individualized medicine. It is an RT-PCR machine that assesses gene expression. This piece of equipment allows us to assess hundreds or thousands of genes in our samples in a week. After we get our samples from the Kaya cube, we then place them in this 96 well plate and insert them into the instrument. We then come over to the computer and make a key showing where our samples are located in the plate along with what genes of interest we will be looking at. The results of the quantification are displayed on the screen. This piece of equipment is normally in a core facility with many PIs or investigators having to share the piece of equipment. Because we do so many translational studies and need to look at many genes, we actually obtained one for our lab so that we are able to speed up the individualized medicine advances. I have shown you many pieces of equipment today that we use to help make discoveries in individualized medicine, but we also use basic techniques such as the ELISA in order to discover biomarkers to be used in therapeutics and diagnostics. Our lab has made some very exciting discoveries in which we've traveled all over the world uh, to analyze human patient samples and found that a protein called soluble ST2 is able to be used as a diagnostic in many forms of heart failure and potentially be used as a therapeutic option as well. This is important because there is not a very good diagnostic or therapeutic option for myocarditis. And so these discoveries that we're making could lead to saving many lives.